What does stereoscopic vision mean to you? I always wanted to try it. We actually tested it during the Nintendo GameCube era. We used the game Luigi's Mansion to test out 3D a little after the game was released. Your team connected a stereoscopic LCD display to a GameCube system and displayed Luigi's Mansion in 3D. Right. It had depth. You were able to gauge distance really well, like the room's size and the sense of scale displayed in the screen. We moved ahead to the point where we thought we could create a new type of play, and the reason we didn't move forward was the fact that, at the time, the console and the LCD device were separate. And it's not playable unless you had both. Now it's all in one, including the LCD. When you tried it, how did it feel? When I saw it with the latest high resolution LCD panel, I had a great feeling about it. So you were already moved when you saw it back when it was tested on the GameCube, but this time you felt the impact was on a different level. It must be because the improvements of the 3D screen in this past few years, and the experience feels so much different when you see richer images on the screen. Exactly. I felt that too. I remember you showed me a 3D version of Wii Sports Golf. I was really surprised in being able to tell distance. When you hear 3D, people think of characters coming out of the screen. That's all you think about when you first hear about it. But as you start, the sense of scale became much clearer on the screen. It's easier to gauge with your eyes. Miyamoto-san told me the most difficult thing in Mario is to jump on a tree stump in 3D game world with a 2D display. This was a challenge for us for many years, and is one of the reasons games have become harder in 3D. And there are people that find flying through hoops in Star Fox difficult. But when you see it moving on Nintendo 3DS, you see it's easier to fly through them. How will tag mode change with Nintendo 3DS? I want many people to have fun with it on Nintendo 3DS. We're working on a new feature where it automatically stores information for multiple software titles in the system, so users are able to experience multiple applications at the same time. So if I play Nintendogs, Mario Kart, Animal Crossing and Pokemon, and if all these games support the new functionality, Regardless of what game I'm playing, communication can occur for all of them. That's right. With that number of games, it can all be done automatically. With DS, if you wanted to use tag mode on Nintendogs, you had to turn the game on and close the lid once you set the game in tag mode. You no longer have to do that. Even if you haven't been playing Nintendo for a while, if you crossed paths with someone who is playing it, communications will happen and you'll see the results the next time you play Nintendo. Correct. So if you want to try this with five, six, or even seven games, we want to be able to make it so all you have to do is walk around with your system and everything happens automatically even if your system's closed. Kondo-san, let's take a look at the exterior. Sure. 
it's like this. And this is how it opens. There are two cameras on the outside. Right, there are two cameras here. By using these cameras, you can capture 3D images. We found this out as soon as we tried it, but it's really fun looking at 3D pictures you've taken. I talked about that in depth with Yamoto-san. With the 3D photo mode, you're able to see 3D images on the screen, even though the world we live in is already in 3D. But somehow it's very gratifying to see depth in those images. What's funny about it is that there is a much more realistic, a real, actual 3D world surrounding us, but somehow it's so fun looking at 3D images being displayed in this small screen. Right. I realized this when we tried it, but usually when you take pictures, you say cheese and give a V sign with your hand. But in this case, nobody does that. Instead, they put their hand out like this. Exactly. Exactly. You somehow do this. It's like you have to. And it's also fun when you take pictures of three-dimensional things, like figurines. It's like looking at a miniature garden. It's fun lining up figurines on your desk, so it's like a diorama, and looking at pictures you've taken of it. It feels very unique and new. It feels like it's your own. We also discovered that you really want to show the images to others. Kono-san, something new is built in this time. The motion sensor and gyro. Yes, the gyro. Those two things have been combined and put in there. For what purpose did you decide to put this in? Well, we wanted to change gameplay. Like in... a first-person shooter. It would take the place of having a dual control stick. What you mean by that is the Nintendo 3DS can detect its own movement, which can be used to control things like the camera angle. Exactly. If you really look up, it will look up. If you look down, it will also look down. You can do those things instinctively, which is a very unique control method. I think we'll be able to bring in new gameplay with Nintendo 3DS, things that weren't possible with conventional handheld devices. It can be used in racing games or to do instinctive controls as if you're looking into binoculars. By using all these features, we want to keep making lots of brand new games.